Welcome back. Today, we will explore the IVF procedure with a specific focus on the intracytoplasmic sperm injection. In this method, a single healthy sperm is injected directly into an egg. The IVF medications start on day two or day three of the woman's period. Hormones are injected to stimulate the ovaries to produce multiple mature eggs. After the injection, the hormones travel through the bloodstream to the ovaries, where they stimulate the ovarian follicles to develop and produce mature eggs. This allows the growth and maturation of the eggs to be observed. Over the next 12 days, ultrasound imaging and blood tests closely monitor follicle growth inside the ovaries, ensuring the eggs mature safely and effectively. This is the ovary, and as you can see, three mature eggs are developing simultaneously. Step two is the egg retrieval. When the follicles reach the proper size, egg retrieval is carried out by first inserting a transvaginal ultrasound probe to visualize the ovaries in real time, then guiding a thin aspiration needle through the vaginal wall into each identified follicle. Once eggs are located, the doctor applies gentle suction to retrieve the mature eggs. As you can see, it retrieves one egg from the far right corner of the ovary and then retrieves a second egg from the top right side of the ovary to complete the retrieval process. Then the eggs are placed in a laboratory culture dish containing carefully controlled nutrients. In the third step, the man collects his sperm at the lab and then the intracytoplasmic sperm injection method starts. In the laboratory, embryologists use a powerful microscope to carefully identify and select a single healthy sperm cell. Once selected, the sperm cell is sucked into a fine glass needle. Using a high-powered microscope, they select healthy sperm with a normal shape, size, and movement. They are extremely careful, and the process is the most precise procedure in modern medicine. Then, they inject the sperm directly into the egg. Now the sperm cell is placed inside the egg cytoplasm, and the sperm head starts to decondense, with its DNA uncoiling and forming a pronucleus. The egg completes its final maturation. The genetic materials of the sperm and egg form pronuclei separately. The egg and sperm pronuclei move towards each other, combining naturally and forming a zygote. Now, the fertilization process is completed, and the zygote, which is a single cell with a complete set of DNA, is formed. Within 24 hours, the single-cell zygote begins mitotic division through cleavage, forming multiple cells. The cleavage stage consists of approximately two to eight cells. By day three, it develops into a marula, and by day five, it becomes a blastocyst. Step four is the embryo transfer. Typically, more than one egg is fertilized in the laboratory, and the most viable, well-developed embryo is selected. Now we are ready to transfer the embryo into the mother. During the embryo transfer, a speculum is gently inserted into the vagina to allow the doctor to clearly visualize the cervix. Once the cervix is exposed and properly aligned, using modern ultrasound imaging, the physician carefully introduces a thin, flexible precision microcatheter through the cervical opening and guides it into the uterine cavity. The catheter, which is connected to a syringe containing the selected embryo, allows for precise placement within the uterine cavity. The embryo is carefully released into the uterus. If embryo transfer is successful, the blastocyst gently attaches to the richly vascularized uterine lining, and this initiates the process of implantation. The procedure is typically painless, and after the transfer, the patient may rest briefly, normally about an hour or so before going home. Two weeks after the embryo transfer, a pregnancy test is performed to determine the result. The pregnancy hormone, human chorionic gonadotropin, HCG, is typically measured through a blood test. Normally, an HCG level above 100 MIUML on day 14 is considered indicative of a positive pregnancy, and the level is expected to double approximately every 48 hours during early pregnancy. 
In most confirmed pregnancies, as shown in the table, the HCG level is approximately 500 MIU per milliliter by day 15, consistent with normal early embryonic development. By day 17, the level is expected to double to 1,000 MIU per milliliter, reach approximately 2,000 MIU per milliliter by day 19, and approximately 4,000 MIU per milliliter by day 21. When the pregnancy is normally developing, the hormone level doubles every 48 hours. This progressive rise reflects the normal progression of the pregnancy. Thank you for watching.